Here I have LG G Pad and let me show you how to set up this device. So let me show you how to go through the initializing setup process on the following device, on the following tablet. So at the very beginning let's start by using a welcome panel. Here you have to choose your desired language. In my case let me choose English, for instance from United Kingdom. You can also choose the accessibility right here or just tap next. Let me choose next. Now you can connect your device to a Wi-Fi, so in my case let me disable the mobile network and let me enable the Wi-Fi connection. Here you should find the full list of available Wi-Fi, let me choose my Wi-Fi right here. Let's tap next. Wait a couple of seconds. And now you can connect your device to a Google account. It's not necessary, but I usually recommend this step. So you can do more with your Google account. You can enable some interesting features. So you can add Google account by two ways. You can create a new account right here or use an existing one. In my case, let me use an existing one. Let me input my email. Choose next. Now it's time to enter a password, let me do it, wait a few seconds. Let's select next right here. Tab accept. The tablet is checking info. And now you can set up payment information. You can do it later or you can sk skip this point just by choosing remind me later right here and tap next. Let me accept Google services, here you can enable or disable backup your tablet's apps, update and settings and Wi-Fi password. You can use Google's location service to help apps determine your location. You may also improve location services and help improve your Android experience. Let me enable all of these features and tap next right here. Here we've got some legal stuff, let me agree to the software update and to the log information, tap next. Now you can use a knock code, set up the knock code, but let me skip this part. Tap next to the following tutorial. Here you can change the tablet name and the lost tablet contact. Let me choose skip to install the apps. Choose get started. Tap start. The phone is trying to pair with Keeper right here. If you don't want to pair your device, you can go back. Or you have to just wait a few seconds. As you can see the pairing is unavailable right now, so let me exit. And that's it. The home screen of LG just pops up, so now you may use your device. Everything went well, thank you for watching, please subscribe our channel and leave thumbs up under the video.